Last week, a taped interview with Governor Palin blasting everyone from liberal bloggers to Katie Couric was released. This week, a new Palin interview, and it's as fiery as the first and no holds barred in this one as well. Palin not holding back when it comes to her feelings about the media, both mainstream and on the web. The full interview appears in the March issue of Esquire magazine, but we're getting a preview of what she had to say. Ryan D'Agostino is the article's editor for Esquire, and he interviewed Governor Palin. Good to see you, Ryan. Thank you. So let's talk about the tone, first of all before we get to some of the clips, did she seem, how did she appear to you when you were interviewing her? More relaxed, certainly, than I had ever heard her. Um, uh, I it, it get the sense that she was feeling free, she was feeling loose, and, and could say things, as she even said to me, that, that she could now say things that maybe she couldn't during the campaign. And this was done in November? I was uh, late December, late December. December, late yep. December. Yep. Okay, so let's get to one of the clips we have here. Yep. Her talking about the world of journalism. I'm going to read it in part. It's a long clip, but it says, uh, Bored, anonymous, pathetic bloggers who lie annoy me. I'll tell you yesterday, the Anchorage Daily News, they called me again to ask, double, trip, quadruple check, who is Trigg's real mom? And I said, come on, are you kidding me? She's talking, of course, about the rumors that her own son was not her child. Exactly. And she's talking about bloggers, and then she goes to talk about a, you know, a credible, legitimate news source. I think it, you know, there was frustration coming through with, all, with the way she was covered um, throughout the campaign by, by bloggers and newspapers. But with the, the bloggers was, seemed to be her, her particular gripe. And I think you know, what you hear is her recognizing that they are unchecked, and they, they could say anything they wanted. And she was just going to say, a, a, a little bit to, to, to kind of come back now People that she can. I keep wondering, Ryan, why does she continue to talk? I referenced that documentary we played last week, and it was all over the Internet. Um, does she feel like she needs to have her voice heard? What is, the, what is her reasoning for continuing to give interviews? Which she has a right to do, of course. Sure, absolutely. And we, you know, we didn't ask you know, <laughs> many questions when she agreed to do it. Um, so I, you know, I don't want to speculate about why, but you, you do get the sense that, um, and, and she actually said it to me while we were speaking, was that you know, she wished she had gotten to call some more of the shots mm. uh, during the campaign. She said, I'm a 44-year-old woman. I run a state. You know, I wish I could have called more of the shots. And you feel like one of those shots would have been to, to speak more. Right. Well, that's one of the uh, clips that we have here. She was talking about things in hindsight. And in part, it says, if I were giving advice to myself, back on the day my candidacy was announced, I'd say, tell the campaign that you're calling some of the shots. Don't just assume that they know you well enough to make all of your decisions for you. So she, she's really, I mean, being open here. I think so. I think, you know, again, the, the tone of it was, was so relaxed. It wasn't, you know, when we were speaking, it was a, it was a pleasant conversation. She was not, didn't get the feeling that she was angry on the attack and, and it, that it felt good, almost like she was kind of, you know, could kind of shake all this off and exhale and by, by saying all this and, and, and get it off her chest and, and move on. All right. Well, it's a very interesting interview, Ryan. Again, this is in the March issue of Esquire magazine. A lot more. She talks about the proximity of Russia to Alaska, the SNL parodies. So there's a lot to read in there. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.